your, your sample rates on music and sound effects and anything you guys find. Like we've been talking about, 44.1 is the CD standard. 48 is what we're using um, for most film work. So you can run into some issues with clicks and distortion if you're working in Final Cut or um, even Premiere and mixing sample rates. So here are a few workarounds of how to convert this. Um, one thing you can do is use Pro Tools and just do um, use it basically as a converter. Go to convert regions and then once it converts them to the right sample rate, use them. I don't have my inbox with me so I can't show you that right now. But here are three workarounds for people who don't have Pro Tools. We'll start with Final Cut. So in Final Cut, um, you can, let, let's pretend this is not the right sample rate. Let's say that this is actually 44.1. Um, I'm going to insert this sound effect into the timeline. Then I'm going to export this. Got it selected. I'm going to export audio to AIFFs. 48K, 16 bits, channel grouped is fine. You see you have different options down here. Um, but those are the two that we'd be using. Then you'd say save and it will convert it. Then you would re-import it into Final Cut to do whatever it is you're doing with it. In Premiere, you can do a similar thing, but you don't have to put it into the timeline to convert a file. You can go um, and select your source viewer with your audio clip that you wanted to convert. So I'm in the source. I'm going to say again, file, export, media in Premiere and then we're going to use the preset well first I'm going to say format is AIFF we're not doing QuickTime or any of the movie formats and the preset AIFF 48k will do what you need to do and if you look down here you have lots of options we're doing uncompressed audio 48 stereo 16 bit um, right here the output name is where you can select where this is going. Um, if you click on this, output name, it'll give you options of where to save it. Then if you have a lot of stuff you want to do, you can queue it or you can export it directly from here. So that's Premiere. Another thing you can use is MPEG Stream Clip. This is a free um, program. You can just search for MPEG Stream Clip online and download it. I'm going to make a batch list and we're going to convert a whole bunch of files. Um, open files. Let's see, I've got a bunch of sounds here. Let's do all of these slingshot sounds. I just use shift to select them all and said open. It says unsupported file type. I'm going to say open anyway because I know it actually can support waves. MPEG stream clip is just meant for um, video. Actually, I lied. It can't do the batch list with MPEG stream clip with <clears throat> audio. You have to do it one at a time. But you can open it up, play it to make sure. Okay, yes, it works. That is the slingshot sound. Um, and then file, export audio. And this is where you'd say 48K. Instead of, I believe by default it says auto, but you'd want to do 48K. Um, then you can say to batch if you want to do a bunch of them. I guess you mean we can do it. Um, tell it where to save it. It needs to be a new folder. Um, so each one it wants you to set to add files to the batch. It looks like. Let's try this. If we did a couple of these. And save. And save audio track. Or export audio. There we go. And then we'd select destination folder. Anyway, yes, we want the same settings. Okay, so there we go. That's how we can get it to, to do a whole list. You have to add one, then it gets the settings started. Um, and when you're ready to convert them all, you just say go, and you will have converted files. Hope that is helpful.